Number four, find the value of the missing variable, round your answers to the nearest term. Let's start by labeling our triangle. And the size of x on it is the hypotenuse, it's across from the right angle. And we know 72 here, so the side across from that is going to be the opposite, which means the 10 is going to be the adjacent. So in this particular problem, we know the adjacent, we want to find the hypotenuse, and those determine that we're going to be using cosine, because cosine has adjacent and hypotenuse in it. So cosine of 72 equals 10 divided by x. Again, cosine is the adjacent divided by hypotenuse. Now, when we solve this, when the variable is down low, we flip a row, so the x and the cosine of 72 are going to switch places. And then we're going to type this into decimal. Make sure you're in degrees. And what we've got, again, is we've got 10 divided by cosine of 72. is 32.36. Um, I had to go back and look at the directions to see what we need to put. Round to the nearest tenth, 32.4. I want to go back to decimals here for a minute just to remind you that when we're looking here, when we round to the nearest tenth, we're looking at the 6 there to determine what to do to that 3. Because 6 is 5 or higher, we round that 3 up to a 4. So 36.34. 30, 32.4, which is what I have. Letter B. Same kind of thing. We want to find the value of x. Let's label here. And on this particular problem, across from the right angle is the hypotenuse. Across from the 75 is going to be the opposite. And then over here, the 22 then must be the adjacent. And we want to figure out the opposite. We know the adjacent and the function that has opposite and adjacent in it is the tangent. It's tangent of 75 equals opposite divided by adjacent. When the variable is up high, we multiply. So this is going to be 22 times the tangent of 75 equals x. So we'll go over here to decimals. And 22 times the tangent of 75 gives us 82.10. And the 0 means that we're going to leave it as 82.1. Again, label the triangle. I, I can't stress that enough. Label the triangle. So what we do, uh, we're looking from the perspective of x there. We want to find the angle. But across from the right angle is the hypotenuse. Across from the angle is the opposite. And that means that our final side is the adjacent. In this case, we know the opposite length. We know the hypotenuse. And we want to find the angle, so the function that relates opposite and hypotenuse is going to be the sine. So the sine of x is going to be 4 over 14. And remember the same. When finding an angle it's not a curse, we just need to use the inverse. So we go back over here to Desmos, and when we type this in, when we go to functions here, we're going to use the sine to the negative 1. That's our inverse function here. And then 4 divided by 14 is what we're going to fill that in with. 4 divided by 14. And then we get our angle there, which is 16.6 degrees. 